guys good morning joy to the world yay guys it's holiday season and my name is alex welcome back to our channel here at eos marketplace news guys 16 days more to go and it's already christmas are you prepared are your gifts prepared all right because we are all happy during holiday season and of course new year is the next um big celebration that we are all going to celebrate right so for today's uh, video i'm really excited to bring you the latest and most trending news on the crypto world i know you're excited so just sit back and relax because i'll be giving you the details in a bit all right so next up i will be sharing to you the new look for our subscribers so we have a new look for our newsletter for today and i'll be sharing again um some of the tokens and coins that is showing the best news for donald's research list all right so let's start so for today's news here this is brought to us by pcn or preferred currency news eight reasons to use cryptocurrency payments in 2019 whoa next year <clears throat> so guys um this article in cryptocurrency payments was written by thomas highwater who is an avid fan of all the things crypto related mr highwater teaches high school level robotics and programming so while there is a growing number of fiat based payment processors with a variety of practical tools and methods of payments adding cryptocurrency payments into the mix provides consumers and merchants with unparalleled um, benefits some of these benefits include simplicity lower overall cost security privacy and a greater level of control over one's funds so here reasons to use crypto next year cryptocurrencies are numerous and versatile and can be utilized as an entirely private bank accounts and payment cards for almost any occasion they offer a multitude of ways to earn a form of interest with little or no effort and help users protect sensitive data and holdings on the go 24 7. so first reason fees there was a time not that long ago when cash was king and financial institutions gave generous incentives to people who chose to put their cold hard cash in, into institutional coffers. Today, bank accounts of all sorts as well as debit and credit cards have fees associated with them. Money that goes down and drain and provides no benefit, never mind interest earned. There are debit and credit card fees, ATM fees, merchant fees, checking account fees, overdraft fees, paper fees, check fees, transfer fees, change fees, chargeback fees, foreign transaction fees, <clears throat> minimum balance fees, inactivity fees, false decline fees, at etc. etc right there's a lot so in comparison popular cryptocurrency payment gateways like bitpay and coin payments charge between 0.5 percent and one percent per transaction in most cases a cryptocurrency account in the form of a digital wallet is entirely free and unless one chooses to invest in cryptocurrency hardware wallets or prepaid cards other than the transaction fee using cryptocurrency as money cost absolutely nothing right <clears throat> number two sensitive data banks and credit institutions as well as retailers and service providers obtain and retain too much of their customers personal and financial information details including our name address employers social security number net worth assets investments account balances credit score credit line and transaction history along with everything we do and buy who we associate with when where etc compromise our personal professional and financial data sets with traditional financial institutions and traditional fiat currency we can no longer preserve our privacy 
So cryptocurrency transactions provide an alternative by limiting the amount of transaction data to mere numbers, also known as cryptocurrency wallet address addresses and transaction IDs confirming that a wallet-to-wallet -wallet transaction took place. A cryptocurrency payment processor acting as a third party will typically require your name and shipping address for the delivery of physical goods, but the rest of your information will remain private as long as you don't connect your bank or credit card account and transact solely in BTC and altcoins. <clears throat> wow! We know, guys, that security is very important, right? Okay, now, next, number three, international use. Cryptocurrencies are a borders, um, borderless means of exchange, for allowing, for instant and cost-effective transactions across the world. There is no waiting, no international fees, and no limitations as to who can or cannot send funds to whom or when and where those funds can be accessed, right? All that is needed is an internet-enabled device like a cell phone and someone without access to a banking institution is given an alternative solution which, with which they can pay bills, earn income, safe, keep their funds, make purchases, and conduct a business. Using cryptocurrencies while traveling adds an extra layer of security and can be used as a remote source of emergency funds that can be accessed without an ID, a bank account, credit cards, a wire transfer, or even a personal computer device. Wow, well, that's convenience. That, I mean, that's what we call convenience. It's very convenient. <clears throat> Number four, e-commerce. Accepting cryptocurrency online has never been easier. Shopify and Etsy merchants can select to accept BTC, BCH, and altcoins. WooCommerce and easy digital downloads of vendors can use WordPress plugins like um, My Crypto Checkout for the purpose. And then there's a shape shift which gives customers the choice to pay with dozens of cryptocurrencies. Shapeshift is integrated with cryptocurrency payment processors like BitPay and CoinGate and cryptocurrency wallets like Coinomi and KeepKey. Moreover, there is Purse.io, an online platform where users can buy items from Amazon with cryptocurrency and it is also integrated with the Shapeshift as a Magento and Open Bazaar. Setting up cryptocurrency payments is super simple and quick and merchant transactions fees are 60 to 70% lower compared to fiat transaction fees. Number five, <clears throat> no chargebacks. Unfortunately, there are customers who make a purchase, receive the items they ordered, and perhaps even use them only to cancel their payment. They can do this because fiat payments are not instant. With cryptocurrencies, things are quite different. Once a transaction has occurred, there is no turning back. Funds travel from one wallet to another. The transaction is recorded and it can be reversed. This is not to say that a customer cannot return an item and request a refund by communicating directly with the vendor. Of course they can. What they cannot do is place an order, pay for it, received and then get the sum they paid back on their account because of money back policies overseen by online payment processors and credit card companies. So chargebacks are meant to prevent fraud and yet they often accomplish the very opposite. In this instant instance, cryptocurrency works the same way as cash. After you've taken the item you paid um, for with cash, you can go back to the store with a damaged or used item, never mind empty-handed, and demand your money back. Sixth, mobility. Mobile payments have become all the rage. Being able to use a smartphone in place of a credit card is awfully convenient. From PayPal and Apple Pay to MasterCard's PayPass and Visa's PayWave, with the near-field communication, technology and modern POS terminals, getting the check has never been easier. 
And yet, the same privacy and security issues are rise as with the rest of traditional fiat-based financial transactions, namely too much data in one place. All currently available mobile fiat payment processors store credit card information, which include all of our financial information and more. Not to mention that all that data is online and our mobile devices everywhere we go. So cryptocurrencies are the safer digital cash option and are ideal for mobile payments by default due to their virtual decentralized nature. 7. A growing market. BitPay, one of the most successful crypto payment gateways, is processing $1 billion worth of transactions annually at a rate of a quarter million transactions per month. Coin Payments already serves some millions of vendors in 200 countries and has just integrated with BitTorrent to give its 100 million users the option to pay with BTC and altcoins. CoinGate serves 50,000 merchants and has processed hundreds of thousands of cryptocurrency payments and Utrust just partnered with Payrex and its 10,000 European merchants. Um, more integration and partnership between cryptocurrency payment processors and fiat payment processors are in the works of the market is expected to grow by 50% in the next two years. In particular, Photon announced plans to attract 100 million users by 2020 and offer competitive features including its own stablecoin, fiat pairs, atomic swaps, a loan and escrow service, and a payment card with loyalty rewards and cash back. So, there's no doubt, millions of merchants all over the world accept cryptocurrencies as do tens of thousands of websites. And last, number eight, commercial use. It has been estimated that some of some 20 million people worldwide own cryptocurrency. Most others have heard of Bitcoin and many plan on adding it to their portfolio. Square, a credit card payment processor serving merchants, employers, and mobile payment users, is gradually outcompeting PayPal while also increasing its profits through BTC sales. The majority of Square's merchant customers have expressed interest in accepting Bitcoin Core and a 2017 Cambridge Center for Alternative Finance study confirmed that 40% of consumers would indeed like to be able to make purchases with BTC. Countries with weaker than average fiat currencies tend to favor the use of cryptos. Turkey, Venezuela, Brazil, Australia, and South Africa appear to have large numbers of cryptocurrency users. In fact, a whopping 80% of Australians would like to use cryptocurrencies for daily purchases. Merchants in Eastern Europe and small Western European towns seem more open toward adding Bitcoin as a method of payment. Even before the 27 cryptocurrency bull market, more than 10% of Eastern Europeans reported using cryptocurrency in place of fiat for everyday purchases. Crypto as, the, as money. Nowadays, guys, almost anything can be paid directly with cryptocurrencies. Homes, condos, boats, cars, clothing, electronics, health and pet products, food, wine, accessories, plane tickets, vacations, tools, musical instruments, as well as dating services, professional services, internet services, and of course, crypto gear. Without pointing out the obvious, let's look at the most interesting things digital currencies can buy you. Okay, first... Enjoy a Thai or Indian restaurant in Montreal or have Dutch pancakes in Aruba. Buy vintage furniture in Massachusetts or rent an office in Miami. See the Cerro Negro volcano in Nicaragua, Nicaragua or character a yacht in South Florida or charter. Buy a Benz, Benz or a Beamer in California or a Rolex in Europe. Wow. That's just wow, right? Okay, now, guys, to continue here. Again, those are just eight of the reasons why you, why, um, 
we use cryptocurrency payments next year okay so the market according to experts in january a company called backed okay or b-a-k-k-t owned by the international uh, intercontinental intercontinental exchange which also owns the new york stock exchange will launch bitcoin futures which will be settled in btc not cash its partners include microsoft starbucks and pantera capital there will be no leverage trading meaning that um that actual bitcoin will have to be bought and owned for a duration of the contract given that these are institutional investors BTC's volume is expected to reach new heights. The CEO of ICE and NYCE SE chairman Jeff Spreacher stated that digital assets are here to stay and that they have a future in regulated markets. So it is very evident that the cryptocurrency industry has grown by leaps and bounds in the past 10 years since Bitcoin was born. Fintech is transforming the financial industry and more and more people are getting on board. Shopping in store and online is going fully digital, but raising cybersecurity fears which can be drastically reduced with a broader acceptance of cryptocurrencies as a means of payment. Wow, guys, here, um, do you think payments in crypto will continue to trend? Is this the um, route to mass adoption? Let's just hope for that. All right, so guys, I know that you would like to read a lot of news or you would like to listen to a lot of news and know about it. Please visit preferredcurrency.news so that you will be the first one to get notified. All right. Um, you can subscribe now. You can use PayPal for monthly recurring. That's only $15 per month fee. Or if you like, you can use um, the Coinbase option for $180. That's annual subscription to be paid with your favorite crypto. All right. So what will you be getting when, um, when you when you subscribe okay you can become one of our affiliates and you can have our newsletter so for the newsletter okay now on the newsletter we will be sending the newsletter to all our subscribers every single day that's 12 hours before we post videos here on youtube and on the newsletter um that's via email guys all right so on the newsletter as you can see it's actually the new the new um style of um our newsletter yeah it's modern <laughs> all right so guys on the newsletter you can read the articles and news of the day of course right here this is powered by a weber email marketing all right so guys on the newsletter i would like to um introduce to you to donald's research list Okay, okay, here. So, so here's, here's Donald's, Donald's research list. list. This, this is just an example, okay? You will be getting the Donald's research list every day. But I'm giving you an example of what is Donald's research list, okay? So this is what Donald's research list is. It's a spreadsheet. It's a complete list of tokens and coins, okay? Now, just... Um, just, just the Donald's research, research list, it can make our lives more convenient, easy, right? Because all is in here. With one spreadsheet, you can see all the tokens and coins and their status every single day. All right, with the article in the news, there's a lot of websites for you to visit on the newsletter so that you will know what website would be perfect to add your listings. What, what, was, what website, website for you to um, uh, to, to buy EOS or to invest or to earn more, to get airdrops, and etc. All right. So, so guys, let me introduce you to Donald's research list. Again, it's a complete list. And maybe you're wondering, why are there a lot of callers? Okay. So red have negative news, orange or tan or neutral, yellow or fair, green have good news, and blue blue are showing the best news. So when you subscribe, you will have when you subscribe to PCN Preferred Currency News, you can have the article of the day, you can have the Donald's research list, 
You, you can, can open, open a lot of websites. websites. You, you can, can join, join our public Telegram channel. Yes, you, you can, can open. open um, you, you can, can join, join our public Telegram channel so that we can have a lot of discussions about EOS and Bitcoin and, and other currencies, right? And of course the trends. Okay, going back here. Let, Let me, me give, give you at least two, okay? This is just an example. Um, Bitcoin's recent price is 3,440.20703916. Share total market volume is 0.35746274. Google searches compared to the past seven days, it's 76%. Um, 50 candle SMA movement is crossing down 50. Number of positive technical indicators, 5. 24 hours volume versus price it's 1.45 7 days volume versus price it's 2.5 and 30 days volume versus price 1.5 percent issued 82.91 percent now if on this first part the, your favorite token or coin is not here then you can just simply control f and then type down the name of your choice for example, EOS, here. So EOS, recent price is 1.72813432. Share of total market volume is 0.04940116. 92% for Google searches compared to the past seven days. It's crossing down 50 for SMA movement. Number of positive technical indicators is 5. 24 hours volume versus price is 0.13. 30 days volume versus price 0.59% issued. It's 90.06%. So guys, there you go. That easy. That that's a very accessible, easy to understand, easy to find what you're looking for because you do not need to go to for, um, to one website to another website in order for uh, for us to have these informations, right? Now. Um, because Donald designed this research list because he knows and we all we know that it is very important to keep track of the tokens or coins of our choice. But guys, for your information, this sheet is not a recommendation to buy or sell. Okay? We are not financial advisors. So we would suggest or we highly recommend that you do your own research and then you can decide afterwards. Right? Okay, so guys, that's it for the latest news and update for today. And I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, please hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below. All right, so thank you, thank you so much. Ho, ho, ho. This has been Alex now saying... Goodbye.